Ready to learn more ASL signs? Let's do this. The first sign we're going to start off with is the sign to lose as in a competition. To sign this, simply take your non-dominant hand. Now I am right-handed, so my dominant hand is my right hand and my non-dominant hand is my left hand. So take your non-dominant hand, bring it out in front of the body with the palm facing upward. Now with your dominant hand, form the letter V. Now this V will strike against the palm of the non-dominant hand once. Now I've also seen people do it this way or get dramatic and go just like this as well. Either way is fine. Let me show you that from the side. That is how you sign to lose as in a competition. The sign to paint. Very simple, simply take your non-dominant hand, bring that out in front of the body with the palm facing the opposite side. Now with your right hand, that's gonna become like a classifier, like a brush. You will go back and forth, up and down, just like this, as if you were painting. From the side, front again. That is how you sign to paint. The sign pity or sympathy. The sign is simply take your dominant hand. What I do first is I extend out my fingers and from here I flex my middle finger downward. Now I'll take that hand and I will do forward circular motions just like this. Let me show you that from the side. Now make sure your face matches the sign. You will also see people use both hands just like this. Or from the side. Front again. That is how I sign sympathy or pity. The sign to postpone. Now to sign is simply take both hands, form the letter F's. Now make sure your thumb and your index finger look like they're shaped as a circle. And then from here, what I do is I take my dominant hand, I put that slightly on top of the non-dominant F, and then I will take that and go forward just like this. Let me show you that from the side from the front again. That is how I sign to postpone. The sign proof. The sign is simply take your non-dominant hand, bring that out in front of the body with the palm facing upward. Now with your dominant hand, it will strike up against the palm of the non-dominant hand, just like this, from the side, front again. Now, if you wanted to sign evidence, what I do is I actually form E with my dominant hand and strike against the palm of the non-dominant hand, just like this. Again. That is how I sign proof or evidence. The sign to ride. To sign to ride, simply take your non-dominant hand, bring that out in front of the body, Form the letter C, but bring it down on its side. From here, take your dominant hand, form the letter U. Now you're gonna flex the U and place that right on the thumb of the non-dominant hand and move forward. Let me show you what that whole sign looks like. From the side and from the front again. That is how you sign to ride. The sign shocked. To sign shock, simply take that index finger of the dominant hand, bring that right over here by the temple, and from here, I will take both hands and bring them downward, just like this. But show on your face that you are absolutely shocked. From the side. Front again. That is how I sign shocked. Now, sometimes you might see people use the hands or the fingers as a classifier for the mouth, just like this. showing that they're shocked and it's like my mouth just opened up like that is another way to sign I'm shocked the sign silly the sign silly simply take your dominant hand form the letter Y from here the thumb will actually brace up against the nose just like this from the side maybe just ways a little bit better that is how you sign silly. The sign to stand. 
To sign this, simply take your non-dominant hand, bring that out in front of the body with the palm facing upward. Now, with your dominant hand, form the letter Vs. These will become classifier for legs and bring them right on top of the palm of the non-dominant hand, just like this. From the side, front again. That is how you sign to stand. The signs summarize or condense. To sign is simply take both hands. What I do is I bring them out in front of the body, flick fingers or flex. Now the dominant hand is gonna be slightly above the non-dominant hand. And from here, I will bring them right on top of one another. And as I do that, they form S's, just like this. From the side, front again. That is how I sign summarize or condense. The sign sweet. To sign is simply take your dominant hand, bring that hand out right in front of the body and I form the number 15. Now with the four fingers right here extended, I actually raise my lips going downward, just like this. And away from the body, just a little bit. From the side, front again. That is how I sign sweet. Now, sometimes you might see people do it twice, just like this. Either way to me is fine. That is how I sign sweet. The sign to vote. To sign this, simply take your non-dominant hand, bring that on front of the body, and I normally form the letter C and bring that on its side. From here, I take my dominant hand, form the letter F, and from here, I will pretend as though I'm dropping the ballot inside. From the side, front again. That is how you sign to vote. Now on this video, I've shown you over 10 signs. If you've learned anything from this video, don't forget, do me the honor of hitting the like button. Next, go and hit the subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification button and stay tuned for my next ASL video.